Today we'll be meeting with Emily who lives in Austin, Texas. She makes $22 an hour while she spends just as much going out to eat as she does on rent every month. Remember, these conversations are 100% real and so are their finances, but this is not official financial advice. These videos are made for educational and entertainment purposes for the audience. Give this video a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people. This is Financial Audit. Um, hi, my name is Emily. I'm 21 and I'm from Austin, Texas. What do you do for a living and how um, much do you make? I'm a visual merchandiser and I make, I think, $22.75 an hour. Twenty-two seventy-five an hour. Yes. Okay. And how many hours a week do you work? Um, forty, and I can get OT sometimes too. Oh, perfect. How often do you get OT? Um, when I just ask for it, whenever I want to. Oh, really? Kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. How often do you do that? Um, maybe I get like extra three to five hours every two weeks or so. Okay. It's a very emotionally and physically draining job. So. Is it really? Yeah. What does it entail? I'm curious. Um. Uh, huh. What does it entail? Um, so, you know, like during Christmas time and then like you see all like the all the hanging stuff on us, that's what I do. Like I decorate and like update it, I update everything. I have to memorize like a hundred and plus items and stuff like that. I have to know where it goes and I'm in charge of the team sometimes too. $47,300 a year? Yes. I just actually just got promoted. So I think oh. I just hit seven months or eight months this month. And congrats on the promotion. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. That's exciting. So I have your checking account here, uh, looking at this. How well versed are you when it comes to personal finances and things like that? Um, I love to spend. I do. <laughs> I love, love to spend. It's just since I use Apple Pay a lot, it's just like, mm. it feels like I'm using Monopoly money, you know, my no. actual money, which kind of sucks. Because <laughs> um, I do work at Target, so all my money pretty much goes back. To I was gonna bring up yeah. Target, okay. Because I live right next to it and I work right next to it too. So okay. it's kind of like a lose lose situation for me. Gotcha. But in terms of like budgeting and stuff like that. No, I just YOLO it. Oh no. Yeah, I uh -oh. just YOLO it. Cause I, that I hurts know, my soul. <laughs> I'm, I know I have money, so I'm like, oh, I'll be fine. And then as long as I don't hit under like 1K, that's like, okay, let me chill out. Oh, <laughs> under 1K. <laughs> yeah, that's when I was like, okay, let me calm down for a bit. Well, good news is in this statement, $2,244.97 is the balance. So not below that scary $1,000. I didn't pay you... this week, though, so it kind of cancels out a little sometimes. Uh, is that I mean, how it works? Yeah, is that how the math works? In my head, it does. Okay. How much do you think you take out of your checking account within a month? Okay, so I just moved out. So I probably spent like, five, like 3K or 4K. A month? Oh, well, just this month because I just moved up. But normally, probably like 2K. Mm. 6065 Oopsie. I'm actually incredibly nervous that you thought it was $2,000 on average. Well, and it's... well, that's if I like didn't move out because I still had to pay like my, I just paid my rent. I had the utility bill. I had my Wi-Fi bill and stuff like that. When did you move out? Um, last month. Okay. And this was last month. Oh, that's, <laughs> how much do you think you bring in? No, uh, I mean we kind of talked about it, but yeah. I bring him like three thousand six hundred, five hundred sometimes, and then I do have like a second job that I just do like once a month or two times a month. It's like a serving hosting job, and they pay me like fifteen an hour. Gotcha. So what you brought into the checking account was five thousand three hundred ninety-two dollars. No, really? I mean that it could have been transferred from you know. Could have been Zelle or Venmo from friends or, you know, things from family or from savings. Okay. Oh, well, for savings? Job. I don't touch my savings at all. Good. Good. I, have, I didn't see that, so. Yeah, I have 11 k saved up with, with my mom. What do you think that extra amount of money was that you weren't anticipating? So, central market. Ooh, oh, wait, okay. sorry. So, Target, $1,697. Target thousand seven hundred three dollars. There were some mobile deposits eleven dollars, thirty eight dollars, fifty seven dollars. That was like my serving cash or like stuff I found in my like pockets or something. Oh, okay, cool. Nineteen dollars. Uh, a transfer. Uh, here's Target again for one thousand six hundred seventeen dollars. Another hundred dollar deposit, forty nine dollar deposit, ninety eight dollar deposit, and all that comes up to five thousand three hundred ninety two dollars. Mm -hmm. So does, does that sound about right? Yeah, it does. If you think about those numbers, 
You spent more than I earned. Than you earned mm -hmm. by six hundred seventy-two dollars. Okay, it's a lot of money oh. for twenty-two bucks an hour. I think it's because okay, this is actually bad because you're not supposed to do this. I had to lend my sister money. I don't know if you saw oh, that. No. That six hundred dollars, I had to give her money for a bit. Really? So what yes. did you lend it for? Um, her credit card. No. <laughs> so Wait, no. Like I lent it to like my actual money, but it was for her credit card payment. Yeah. Like, it so wasn't... she was paying off her debt. Yes. And now she has debt to you. Yes. Is oh, my glasses? Oh, was sorry. was that a gift that you gave no, her? No, 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 and no. So she like, owes it to you. Yeah, she owes it to me. That makes me nervous. Have you done that before? No. Well, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. But the reason I have credit card debt is because my mom took out a car for her under my credit. I like, or I was like, like under the credit thing. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, are you a cosigner or is it just straight I, up I, you? I don't know. I have no idea. They they never told me anything. They just used like my credit. We're gonna take a look at your credit score uh, and. Uh, we'll see if that's on there. I'm really mm -hmm. curious, but she she's been paying it like it's not bad. Like my credit score is actually really good. I did see your credit score; it is good, but that's still crazy that you do that non consensually. Um, I was like, yeah, whatever, because I was like, okay, so you did. Yeah, I was like, ah, like I. She wasn't gonna take no. My mom wasn't gonna take no for an answer, so I was like, yeah, I'll just okay, yes. That's healthy. What? No, I don't know. What she got? Why? Why did you have to give your sister money for a credit card payment? Because, Why you? Because I make more. I think I make more than my mom. I don't know. I, she just... I don't know. It's like a family. You don't make that much for Austin, though. I don't know. I mean, you're, 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 you're working. You got a promotion. You're grinding out some side hustles. I love that. Mm -hmm. So you're killing it when it comes to that. But Austin's a very expensive city mm -hmm. where you need like forty to $60,000 to live somewhat comfortably mm -hmm. in Austin. I don't know. My mom just asked me, and I was like, "Okay." So your mom asked you on behalf of the sister. Yeah, I think she just asked me because my sister's like not to be mean, but she's not in, like the best life situation. But like, it's nothing too crazy. She just has like a kid, and like that's kind of it. Does your sister have a job? She's starting one August. She's going back to her old job. What what what's her new job? Oh, well, and old job. She works at Shipley Donuts. Well, it's because she had to take a break because okay, it was family issues, so she she they had no babysitter. And stuff like that. So she had to take care of her kid. Yeah, child care can be more expensive yeah. than going to. So now that she finally is okay, she's going to go back to work. And I think she makes like 17 or 18 an hour. And when do you expect to get this money back? Her first paycheck, that's what she said. So like two weeks, two to three weeks. I'm really curious. I, I want you to follow up with me and okay. tell me if you actually get it because I'm actually betting against it right now. But I, I don't know. I, I trust her. I think she'll, she'll pay me back. Because she felt really bad, but it's like. Her finance, if her financial decision is like not the best either, so I get that. That that still hurts though. So I guess that would kind of, but still spending six hundred seventy two dollars more than bringing in, mm -hmm. that's still pretty scary on twenty two bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. Eating out. Oh my god. <laughs> How much do you think you spend every I month spend eating like, out? Probably like two thousand dollars a month, or like a thousand. I don't know. This isn't perfect because you could have Venmoed people. And so I, I tried to do my best guess uh, mm -hmm. based on the account statement, recognizing certain restaurants. $656. $600? $600? That's it? No, that's not bad. Well, it's a lot, obviously, but I really thought like it was like $1,000. <laughs> it's almost close to $1,000. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy it's not 1000 because before taxes, you bring in $3,943 mm -hmm. a month. So... Yeah, I'm definitely glad it's not a thousand. What is up with Wheatsville? Oh, it's a grocery store near my house, and it has really good food. It's like has like a hot bar, and it's really good. Oh, the hot bar. Yeah. Okay. Because so we it. can then add that to eating now, and oh. you get closer to your thousand. Oh, okay. So I separated that because I wasn't a hundred percent sure what that was. Like no, it's like a hot bar thing, and I go after the, the gym. So you spend about twenty five percent of your income pre taxed mm -hmm. income going out to eat. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. When we're breaking down what people should be budgeting for every month, mm -hmm. the recommended, the average American, 50% on needs, that's not a need, 30% on wants, that is a want, 20% on savings. This is 25% pre-taxed, and those wants are post-tax. You are spending over your allotment of wants on literally... Mm -hmm. 
food. I know. There's I, other things you want to do on top of that, I assume. Uh, not really. I actually don't do it. Uh, no, well, I do go to Target. I do go to Target That's Because that was the other thing. Because... I work at the style department. It's hard. I target, to... target, target. Target, target, target. Target, target, target. <laughs> Target, target, it's target, so target, but... target, target, okay, target, but target, target. Oh, I'm, I'm not done. Okay. No, no, no. Because <laughs> you're going to go to Target again. And guess what? You're going to go to Target, 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 Target. target, target. Oh, you don't... clearly want to spend money on other things, but uh -huh. your wants category is already beyond, beyond. spent. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? A lot. I don't know. It's just, I've gotten so used to spending money. If that's what I'm sure like, that's what I'm here right now. <laughs> What happened when you didn't make money? What were you doing at that point? Um, well, I've worked to Target in three years. So I started as a team member, which was like 15, and I, 15 an hour. And I actually did work my other job a lot. So that's why where I kind of like, saved like, a good chunk of my money. Would you say the majority um, of the money that you make when your paychecks increase with a raise, mm -hmm. you start spending more? Yes, that was that was the reason I started to spend so much because I was like, oh, I make decent amount of money, but that's when I live with my mom too, so mm. it was even worse. That's why I was like, and then I just moved out, so now I'm like struggling trying to be like, okay, like I really need to tame down my wants because at this point, like, there's no reason for me to have this many wants if I have, I feel like a thousand two hundred for a studio. Oh, jeez, that's what I was about to ask. Uh -huh. All right. Um, that's called lifestyle inflation. Have you ever heard of that or lifestyle creep? I've never heard of it. That is when you spend more, or when you start making more money, you start spending more money too. Yeah. Instead of taking the additional income and, and saving it. Saving it. So all of a sudden you get more food or you get nicer clothes or you get a nicer car or you get a nicer house. You kind of did that with the house because you just lived with your parents, and now you're like, all right, making a little more money, I'm going to go spend $1,200 on a studio. The, okay, the reason is because I actually don't have a car. I don't know how to drive. Okay. Because I'm actually very, very, like, afraid. I, our, my Uber driver almost crashed right now, too. So really? I was like, yes, she almost ran a red light. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, this is not what I wanted this, this, this afternoon. So right now, half of your pre-tax income goes on once. Goes on rent oh. and food, mm -hmm. over half. Now you're left with we're just gonna say because of post tax, maybe a thousand four hundred dollars a month. Where does that go? Because you're spending more than you make. Where does that go? The for what? After your rent and mm -hmm. food, well, you know, there's probably utilities. How much you spend on utilities? Okay, I don't know. I don't know. If there's like a something, but I pay like one forty this month. That was like I'm not even in the house half the time. One forty is so. not bad for utilities. And it's for by myself. In 110 degree heat, though. Oh, okay. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I don't have a fan. So, where does like the other thousand two hundred fifty dollars go? What are you spending that on every month? Um, I don't think that I go. I just go to Target. Like I literally just go to the gym, Target, and home. And yeah, I saw I a good amount of Pilates and gyms. Oh like yeah, I took some Pilates classes, but it was like what six seventy bucks. It's pretty fun. You should try them out. So how much is in your savings I account? I have 11000 Good. Uh, uh, that's really good. I'm happy to hear that. So that's like Thank an you. emergency fund that you have on yeah, the side. Yeah, I don't touch. So that's what's with my mom. Because if I see that I have money, I will spend it. That's why good. I take out, I think, 600 to 700 from my paycheck and give it to her. Oh, every month? Um, I kind of stopped for like three months, but I need to get back into it. You need to get back into that. Okay. Well, actually, at a certain point, because I'm going to say you need... I'm going to call it three. Because I know I can save up like so much money, but it's just like I need to. I'd get to 18000 in there. $18,000 when mm -hmm. you can. Okay. I don't think it'll take me that long. No, I don't think so either. And then you're going to stop putting money in there. And then you're going to start investing in a Roth IRA. Actually, I've been looking into that because yes. I've been telling myself like I need to start my retirement fund. I'm 21. I'm not going to be young forever. And then mm -hmm. my body's going to break down. Mm -hmm. You definitely want to have that money. And it sounds like how so that money that you give to your mom to put in the savings, was that a monthly or was that like a per paycheck or what was that? Um, I do it like a monthly. And how much was it again? Like 600 to 700, depending like how, how much I want to give her. 
And she doesn't touch it either. Like, I, I trust her, and she, like, no, it's, it's not her money. What I want to see is by the end of winter 2023, there's 18000 bucks in there. Okay. Saving account. And then you take that amount of money every month again mm -hmm. and put it in a Roth IRA. And you can do that through, like, Fidelity or something. Mm -hmm. Super easy online. But all of a sudden, that gives you the basis to be able to, you know, actually retire at some point, which is awesome. Okay, because I think my target has like a four one four one k too. Is that? Yeah, that, that's yeah. good. Sometimes they're not as. Uh, sometimes it's not a Roth option. I would rather have a Roth option. But if they have a match, do they have a match? Do you know? I have no idea. I would uh, talk to your boss or HR see if they have a match. If they have mm -hmm. a match, contribute at least to the match because that's just free money. Mm -hmm. But a lot of this conversation depends on certain debts. So let's mm -hmm. talk about your credit card. Oh. Credit card. It's like literally a bunch of food, I think. It is food. Uber Eats, Dairy Queen. Uber Eats, uh, a food. Japanese place. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, coffee, Uber Eats, Uber Eats, in and out Popeyes, in and out But the Uber Eats, it's not for me. I actually order it for my mom because something... Cause I'm nice. I'm a, I want to be nice to my mom. Well, you need to stop being nice for a second because <laughs> no, be nice is good, but I want you to... You need to have a minimum six-month mm -hmm. emergency fund before oh, okay, you're okay. nice. Okay. Be be nice after that. Once you have eighteen thousand dollars in that savings account, mm -hmm. ninety one bucks, not bad on here. That's your balance. Is this paid off every month? This credit card? I paid every check actually. Every check. Uh -huh. so and sometimes I leave like maybe like fifty bucks or something like that because it isn't bad to leave it completely like that. Like, you're not spending in it. Not necessarily. Or am I crazy? Well, because I know sometimes you your score goes down if you don't owe like anything or something like that because it makes it seem like you're not spending it. Or, I mean, at a certain point, I would rather not occur interest at all. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, uh, you know, worse for your credit score would be having a utilization rate of like 30% mm -hmm. or higher, but you don't have that. No, I've so never you... had a late payment or nothing like good. that. I've made every single payment. Very good. So 91 bucks in here, you're pretty much paying off every month. You leave a little balance. Mm -hmm. um, minimum payments of 25 bucks a month. I think my limit's like three thousand six hundred, but I, I never exceed yep. that. I think it's I only spend like three hundred, or at max try to spend like three hundred and fifty. Okay, so yeah, this one's really not that bad. Um, I would personally pay it off every month, but mm -hmm. that that's just my suggestion. I don't know what this is. Do you have to tell me this is from your Experian report? What oh. is the installment debt? I think that's my sister's card thing. Let me pull it up right now. Oh. Okay. I think that's that's my sister's card thing. Credit score of seven seventy one. Love it. I know. I'm so like I'm so proud of it. I always fuck. I don't know. I think I'm so. I'm so. You proud should of be it. proud of that. That's awesome. Credit acceptance corp nine hundred twenty three dollars. Nine hundred twenty three bucks. Monthly payment of four hundred eight dollars. Original balance of seventeen thousand nine hundred thirty one. Yeah, that's the card. And she has not missed the payment. No, she hasn't. I hope not, because I feel like that would like mess up my credit score. Yes. Oh, she didn't look to do that. Yeah, all payments are good. Awesome. Look, she's not as bad as you think it is. Well, I hate that you're on it, <laughs> but, you know, when it comes... I wouldn't do it again because it's risky. Yes. Relying on someone else. It's okay, she's like my only sister. Like, there's Well, no still, it doesn't matter who. Uh -huh. I wouldn't do it. However... It's really interesting. She kind of, she attacked this thing. She paid it off early. Was this, is that her main goal? I don't know. I don't know. It's a 72 month loan, but she's going to pay it off within a year and a half. I don't know. Like, I really have no idea what's going on with that loan. You I, don't even ask I, about it? I don't even ask about it. Yeah, because I like, I'm just like, I think she's trying to pay off her car early because it's going to be done in two to three months. Awesome. That's good, right? Yeah, I oh, know okay. that's great. I just wouldn't do it again. I wouldn't, you probably co-signed for it, I uh -huh. think. Or it'd be crazy. I wonder if they took up the... I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to think they took up the loan under my name. Under them. So yeah, I probably... Think so. I think maybe I was a co-signer, cool but I don't... I feel like I would have been like... Okay. That's interesting. I would not do that again. Okay. But yes. it's almost done. It looks like she was attacking it, which is pretty cool. I hope she pays you this... back the... No, she tells me, like, why do you think I'm going to run away? Like, I'm, I really, like, five minutes away. It was like, okay, I'm just making sure. It was, like, borrowed money. It wasn't, like, a gift. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so your debt situation is, like, nothing. Did you go to college? No, I didn't. Okay. 
So no student loans. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide not to go to college? Because I'm not to be mean, but I'm not the I'm not the smartest. Ah, right, see yourself. You can yeah, trash talk not, yourself all you dude, want. I'm not the smartest. <laughs> I mean, not everyone has to go to college. What do you What do you want to do? Um, well, I like my position right now. It's like visual merchandising. So it's Good. like the base thing is like making things look pretty and like new and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like I know you're wearing a Target outfit right now. Good fellow. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much all I own. I'm very cheap, but yes. Well, Target has really good stuff, yeah. I like how they look, but mm -hmm. yeah. Um, that sounds like, yep, that's a good fellow shirt. And that's dang. what we're use shorts. Ouch. Sorry. Oh, the shorts were from there. <laughs> yeah. Wait, let me look at your shoes. No, they're, no not. they're not. They're, I'm wearing slippers because I get cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> they're from Amazon. Okay. You so okay. It's just like food. I just need to come you, back. Well, you enjoy what you're doing. You really don't have any debt. I would just not do that credit stuff again. Okay. Uh, I would save up, which I think you can by the end of next winter. Your six month this emergency winter or fund. Like next year. End of next winter. So it would be. We're talking like. Twenty twenty three. March twenty twenty three. Oh okay okay. Yeah, have that six month emergency fund. Mm -hmm. Then after that. Open uh, oh, something with, yeah, Fidelity or, you know, there's so many options out there. And then mm -hmm. invest that same amount. How much do you set aside each month? Say that again. 600 or 700. We'll say 600. Okay. Yeah, that's, I think that's the best. This is if you kept your job now, didn't have any uh, pay raises um, over the next 39 years. No, no, no. Oh, okay. the, the example I'm providing. Yeah. Over the next 39 years, if you set that $400 aside... Uh, for the next 38 years, because it's actually going to be next year mm -hmm. when you start, in the value of today's money, because we're taking into account inflation in the future. That's why I'm scared, because like 11000 was a lot. Like what? Like, well, we're taking an account into it. You would So in today's value of the dollar, a million one hundred eighty-one thousand by the time you're 60. If you did that. Now imagine <laughs> if you cut back on your food spending drastically, because you can, and you can still eat out mm -hmm. and still shop at Target and still cut that spending in half. Mm -hmm. Literally, two point three million if you invest a double. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sweet. Because here's the interesting thing: you are so freaking young, and if you do this stuff starting now, mm -hmm. it doesn't even matter if you're making under thirty bucks an hour or something like mm -hmm. that. If you're making under fifty thousand dollars a year. You could be a millionaire by retirement if you start now because mm -hmm. that compound growth is so critical. I was watching YouTube videos on this, but then I kind of forgot about it until like I was like, wait, I'm like, time goes, time goes by so fast. So I'm like, I need to do it now before it's too late. And then I'll be working until like I'm 80 or something. Yeah. I mean, set goals aside. You know, every month be excited when you put that money aside. Mm -hmm. uh, and then set goals of how much you know, you want your retirement account to be worth at this age, at this age, at this age, and then see what it takes to get there. And you can keep yourself accountable in that. You mentioned not having, not being very financially disciplined or anything like that. What's really critical when it comes to this, because I think you can actually save more money, mm -hmm. because your essentials that you're forced to spend every month, especially since you don't have a car or anything, is like that isn't, isn't too crazy, especially mm -hmm. for Austin. So I think you could save more. You need to create a budget. Just mm -hmm. use just use Mint. Mint. It's an app. Download it. Mm -hmm. Great. It connects to all your accounts and it breaks down your spending. And you can create a budget and it says if you spend under it or how much money you have left in yeah, that budget. Yeah, I spent five hundred dollars on those air, those headphones like yesterday. Oh, kill me. That's they're cool though. Yeah. The what are they? AirPods Max. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Hey, I have to I have ten days to return them, so I'm still trying them out to see if I actually like them. I would I would return them. <laughs> I would return them because they can go to retirement. Well, it's not just that actually, because right now we're trying to get you to your six month emergency fund. Mm -hmm. When you do that, then you have a little more to play with. I would try to get that as soon as possible because especially now that you have an apartment, that extra level of safety net, six months mm -hmm. of what you need to live, yes. and I'm doing about three thousand dollars a month. Um, which will increase over time, but you need that as like the baseline for you to start your investing and just being able to live, you know, a secure life, which I want you to have. It removes a lot of stress when you have six months of living expenses set aside. Okay. I will, I will update you. If I well, do. you're doing pretty good on it. You have about 4,000, so you're close. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I would just double down and try to get that as quick as possible, and then you mm -hmm. can have a little more fun again. But... 
will then want to invest. Mm -hmm. And then yes, feel please feel free to update us as you just said. That'd be awesome. I can work my other job more because I only work like what like twice a month or something like that. It's just when I'm bored. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you're really not required to. You could cut down. Just it, it, it it's up to you if you decide if you have a spending problem or problem or an income problem. I have a spending problem for sure. Okay, then cut back the spending, but mm -hmm. you can also maintain it if you really want to. I personally wouldn't, but then work more. Mm -hmm. but then that like, is an option. Then I'm pretty much working for free type of thing, you know, because then I'll be spending all my extra income type of thing. That's why I would personally, uh -huh. in my life, cut back. Okay. What that, financial goals do you have? Just to be not overspend. It's because since I work in like in the clothes department, and I'm I'm a lady. I like I like <laughs> buying clothes. So every new thing I get, especially because I my job is to set new items every like, I think every month or so. I look yeah. at all this new stuff, and I'm like, this is cute. Oh, I should get this. I get a discount. It's okay, even though it's only like ten percent. It's like two dollars off. It's like just a tax. So it's not really worth anything to be honest. But I, I'm like nearly like, dude, I don't need like 10 pairs of like the same nope. shirt in different colors. I have this shirt like in 10 colors. No. I love it so much. That's all. I was like, okay, I need to chill out before. That's where creating a budget becomes mm -hmm. important because you set aside how many dollars you spend a month on that stuff. Because I'm not saying don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm saying set aside how much and then you more critically pick and choose which shirt you're, you know, you're selection buy. of shirts you're going to buy in order to... I'll maybe buy that one you're wearing right now. Yeah, I mean, why not? <laughs> um, so that, that that would be my recommendation. Do the emergency fund as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. Create a budget. And I would invest, after you have your emergency fund, at least 500, 600 bucks a month. Like, why not? You can. Mm -hmm. Up to 800 bucks a month, that's what gets you to that 2.3 million. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Okay, because I do. I think we get a bonus every after Christmas time too. Well, don't rely on bonuses. Oh, okay, when okay. you have it, yeah, just throw yeah. it towards okay. uh, investing. But we're yeah, we're not thinking about bonuses when we're looking week to week, or especially when it comes to month to month, when it comes to budgeting and stuff like that. Okay. But when you get your bonus, it doesn't exist. You put it towards investing. Okay. <laughs> is that you'll extra money to, buy, to spend? You'll be able to buy so many Target T-shirts when you're a. Dude, half my closet is red shirts, anyways. When you're a multi-millionaire. Which you can be. I know. But that's up to you. Okay. Any final thoughts? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to think, but no, it's just like literally food that I spend so much. I think I eat it like two to three times a day. Whoa, that's a lot. I yeah. can't see but it it's that not like, much. But it's not like actual fast food. That's what like the wheat soul comes at because they have like the greens. The well, I don't care what it is. Money is yeah. money. I don't. And it's like 10 bucks. You're thinking now. about it from the health standpoint. I'm thinking about it from the <laughs> green standpoint. <laughs> Yes, that's a lot of money, but I think I can like, I, I for sure can cut it back because I have like a Starbucks yes, addiction. Fine. I don't know if you saw any Starbucks in there, but I will buy Starbucks every day at work and it was like 12, a $12 order. And I stopped though because I was like, okay, you know what? It's not really worth $12 anymore. No, it's not that's like. It's like half what I earn. Exactly. Because I saw that, that video of the 10% on coffee. I was like, you know what? I shouldn't be spending this much money on coffee. That makes my stomach hurt. Not my video? Yeah. Okay, so those are the recommendations. Mm -hmm. Follow the budget. Roth IRA. Oh, after. You're going to get your six-month emergency mm -hmm. fund, and then, yep, Roth IRA, and then millionaire. <laughs> okay. After a while. So i got to cut back on that food and target shopping and set up the budget, but, yeah. Okay, I'll for, I'll for sure cut back. I'll, I'll become frugal. Cool. So we'll follow up in, like, six months and see what happens. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> Let Emily know what you think about her financial situation in the comments below. A special thanks to my four cups of coffee supporters, Abdil Martinez, Mark, Josh Bennett, and Anthony. Give this video a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people. Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks.